The music. I don't know about you guys, but watching that sizzle reel that led into this event just gives me chills and makes me realize why we're in this business, right? It's the best business out there. And we have the best in this room. I want to welcome everyone to the 12th Sports Business Awards, and I am so honored to be here. I am used to working around people who celebrate victory, so that is what we are going to do tonight. It will be filled with big wins and moving stories, all worth celebrating. This room is full of people who represent the best in sports business. There are 86 nominees here to see if they will take home some beautiful crystal that we have here behind me. And I was told not to pick it up because it's extremely heavy. Over the course of the night, we will hand out 17 awards recognizing teams, leaders, and organizations that have excelled in their fields over the course of March 2018 to February 2019. These nominees are the creators, the risk takers, the innovators who will move the sports industry forward and who have accomplished so much in that time. Everyone in this room, whether they take home that hardware or not, deserves a very huge round of applause. Now, speaking of tremendous feats, I am the first woman to ever host the Sports Business Award. <laughs> now, let me tell you, I am also only the second person to actually host these awards. So <laughs> I didn't have such a high ceiling to uh, break. I would consider doing this again, but I'm going to tell you only if the right network wins the best in sports media category tonight and I did not have a chance to vote, but uh, the votes are in. And speaking of voting, we want to thank our judges for dedicating their time to determine tonight's winners. These men and women were recruited and selected by Sports Business Journal. These 29 executives were brought in for a day in New York City and were charged with determining our 17 category winners. Many of the judges are here tonight. You'll see their photos on the screen. You'll see their names in the program. They have a very tough task that they had to deal with, and that is why they are put in that corner in case they just have to get out near the exit if someone's unhappy with the uh, end result. Well, anyway, let's give uh, them a big round of applause because a tremendous job that they did. Now, at CBS, we are extremely lucky to cover a lot of the PGA Tour. And I know how fondly my boss, Sean McManus, is of the people who work there. We are very fortunate to have with us two of the most influential executives in the history of the tour. The man who is responsible for some of the PGA Tour's biggest innovations, including the FedEx Cup, the Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Tim Fincham. Tim will be introduced by the man who succeeded him, current PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan. And the last time I saw Jay, I think he saw me sink my tee shot into the water on that famous island green at the TPC. So please don't bring that up, Jay. Bad memories there. Uh, Tim Fincham wins the Lifetime Achievement Award. Tiger Woods wins the Masters. This is a very good year for golf. And we have teed things up this evening. So let's just get it started. What are we waiting for, right? Let's have some fun tonight.